Hey there, YouTube. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Welcome back. Um, in this uh, lesson, it's kind of like a part two. We had a follow-up question to the last video. Uh, in the last video, what we did is we had a, a user form I'm going to bring here, and I'll go ahead and open that up. Basically, it has these three different check boxes, and if you clicked on this one and say this one, this one was assigned to sheet one, and this one was assigned to sheet number three in the code. Um, if you clicked those two and left out sheet number two and clicked print the selected sheets, it would print the, it would send this one and this one straight to the printer. Um, it doesn't go through the print previews of each of the sheets. So whenever we um, click the print selected button, it'll send these straight to the printer. Um, what we've got a follow-up question is how do you not send them straight to the printer? I want a print preview of each of the sheets that are about to be printed so I can OK it before they print. And the answer to that is you use the print preview um, method instead of the what we showed you earlier was uh, using print out dot print out for each worksheet. So I'm going to close this up here and let's go ahead and uh, how we got to that menu is you can either go to developer and click on Visual Basic, but I hate that way. You can hold the Alt button and hit F11. And if you hit Alt F11, it'll bring you to the Visual Basic editor. Um, and we want to click on the user form that we've already got. Um, really, actually, I'll probably just make a new user form and. Uh, I'll probably just copy all these features over. So let's click here, start from scratch, go to user form, click there. So the dimensions are the same. I'm going to go back to user form one by double clicking and I will just take all these things here and control C to copy, double click on your other user form and control V to paste. So now we've pasted all of our stuff. Now, uh, all the code was contained in the button because the button is um, is where whenever it's clicked is where all the stuff happens with these objects if they're clicked or not clicked. So let's go back to user form one and see if we can get the code from our command button one and copy that over as well. Control C and we'll double click on our button on the other user form and let's just paste this uh, command button one click event here. So uh, and the names of these these uh, checkboxes have been copied as well. So checkbox SH1 for sheet 1, checkbox sheet 2, and, and then the command button 1 is still called that. So everything that we copied works out pretty good here. So what we did in the last video is we said, whoops, uh, sorry about that. We said if the sheet 1 uh, or the checkbox called CBSH1 equals true. So if it's, it is checked, then we're going to do this workbook dot sheets, and we're going to do sheet one, and we're going to do the dot print out, and the number of cop space, so copies equal uh, colon equals one. So the number of copies, mm, one. So that would print it out one copy immediately to the printer and then the macro would immediately go on and say well what about the checkbox for sheet 2 if that is checked then it would say print out sheet 2 copies equals 1 and then finally this is a sheet 3 and you can have as many checkboxes as you want representing as many sheets with weird names it doesn't have to be sheet 1, 2, and 3 it could be whatever you name your worksheets you put them in here and you do the dot print out now Again, back to our, our point today, is this gentleman wanted to know how do you use the print preview. So I'm going to rename this to PRT preview. I don't know why I'm renaming this. I'm going to put that in the user form header as well. Let's go to the caption right here, and that'll change this. And I'm going to say uh, print preview. I'll just spell it out. Print preview. And then the original one we're going to change the caption here. We'll have this be print out. Okay, so now you know 
this is the printout and this is the print preview one we're working on the print preview one so we'll just change these simply to print preview so if that is checked then we want to do a print preview of that one and uh, we'll do the same for these other ones uh, control C to copy control V to paste paste there we go so let's see if that worked um, let's try this and um, let's just do sheet 1 and sheet 3 again and I will hit uh, print select well you know what it's always best practice when you're messing with things like this I have had it lock up on the print preview whenever it's trying to run macros and it's waiting on you so I'm, I've just saved my workbook you gotta save your work so let's uh, go ahead do this again sheet 1 and sheet 3 print selected and really print preview selected it's more accurate so it's loading up the print preview right now and it is absolutely locked up. Um, why is it locked up? Well, because the stupid user form is thinking it needs to be in the forefront and then the print preview men menu thinks that it should be on the forefront. So whenever I click you can't hear it but it's going ding, ding, like that. So there's really, I'm going to hold the escape key down and hope that it will lock up the macro and see if it will uh, allow me to close this down. If not, I'll have to shut down the workbook. See, that's why I had to save it, because I had a feeling there was something I was, you know, forgetting. So, let's see if we can attempt to close any of these down. I'm going to try um, opening Task Manager, see if I can go to the Applications and go to one of these whether it's Excel or the Visual Basics menu and click on end task and it looks like it just shut down the entire workbook so that sucks but I just saved it so it's not a big deal now hopefully you didn't lose all your work but um, I like to save before I mess with the print preview because it's finicky here's something you gotta do whenever you're doing a print preview at the very beginning of your buttons code uh, right here you want to put something like this me dot hide what does that do well it takes this silly user form right here and it hides it out of the way so it's not locking up the forefront it's not forcing itself to the very front of the screen and whenever this is hidden then your macro can continue you know it'll let you do the print preview without locking up. I hope that makes sense. If you play around with it, you'll understand why this is worth its weight in gold. Now, another way you could do that is you see here on the left that we named this PRT Preview. So that's technically the name of the user form. You could, if you were going to be all technical, you could say PRT Preview dot hide dot hide. Uh, and that, uh, you notice the P capitalized, so that shows me that I'm using the correct name of that object, PRT Preview. So this user form called print preview dot hide, but since we are in the said user form, we can just refer to it as me, because that is the object that we are writing code within. Me dot hide. Now let's try that and hopefully it won't lock up. I'm gonna save anyways. PS, you can download this workbook and the workbook in the previous video just by clicking on the Dropbox link in the description you can actually browse through all my um, all my workbooks that I share with you for free you can download any of them you don't have to sign up for anything you don't have to click this and install these silly things you just click whichever one you want download it and play around with the code it's free for the taking the user forms are free the code is free it's free okay I think I made my point let's go ahead and try this um, macro one more time. I'm going to hit click the play button uh, or or rather you can hit F5. I will hit F5 to open up my user form. This is the print preview one we're working on now. Just click this one and let's just do sheet 1 and sheet 2. We want to print preview each one one at a time. So we've already set up the code. Let's click print selected button and here's where the code actually runs. So the first part of the code as you remember is to hide this silly user form not really close it down and close off all the code, just hide it so it's not 
ding 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 not taking up the space here and hogging the forefront I click it now and it hit it first of all so now we're in the print preview mode and we can do our thing you can either close this print preview and say I don't want to print the page one or you can print it and send it straight to the printer regardless whatever I do now will allow the code to continue running right now it's frozen it's locked into place on right about here it's done the print preview but it can't move on to do the next part of the code until we've gotten rid of the um, either printed or not printed with the closed print preview So I'll go ahead and not print and I'll click close print preview and now it's going to load up sheet 2's print preview and there we are cool there's sheet 2 and now I'll click uh, I could click print or I could click close and now it will allow it to continue running the rest of the macro and uh, it should give no results for sheet 3 because we didn't click that checkbox so that should be about it I'm gonna click close and now the macro is done running and we see our editor here again I'm going to put an, uh, a little button here so that whenever you download this workbook you'll be able to open up the um, open up the user forms so we'll call this one um, print out and let me control a home ribbon plus 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 bold center center and a couple more pluses there's the print out user form and I'm going to control C control V and I'm going to put the print preview and make it a slightly different color um, right 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 let's format that to make it green and we'll highlight the text control A and we'll say print preview cool make that a little larger here my goodness print preview there whatever we'll make it huge okay print out and print preview now let's make our macros to make these buttons work let's rename this user form one to something a little bit better double click here how about PRT out print out and print preview you don't have to abbreviate everything like I just did I don't know why I'm doing that kind of old school but whatever so let's cl click here and make a new module and our first sub our first procedure is going to be called how about open print out and the other one's going to be sub open print preview hit enter so very simply the first one open printout we just need to open that user form called PRT out so PRT out dot show and hit tab or hit enter either way and the next one of course is PRT preview dot show and there you go last thing is we need to assign our buttons so here right click on this button and assign the macro only in this workbook called open print out and right click on this one and assign the macro called open print preview and now when I click on this one it opens the print out user form when I click on this one it opens the print preview user form you notice that since it was merely hidden that the checkboxes are still in place and saved in place now if you close the workbook and reopened it it wouldn't save these but if you simply click the button and it's told to hide instead of clicking the red button to actually close it down then um, it'll still show these so it'll show your checkboxes whatever was last selected now if I do that then it will be fresh same with printout if this is told to hide instead of close down after it's run um, so that's the difference here um, so anyway if you uh, want to download this workbook please check out my Dropbox link in the video description that has all my workbooks free for the taking anybody that wants them you don't even have to be a subscriber but I do recommend that you click the subscribe button and click the like button right now and also give me some comments if you liked this video or if you didn't like this video 
I want you to tell me why you did or didn't in the comments. If you have a follow-up question to this video, please leave that in the comments as well. Or you can even PM me on Facebook or on YouTube. Um, but uh, be sure and click like, be sure and subscribe because I'm coming out with new videos all the time. Thanks for watching everybody and God bless.